here's the deal, guys. Today is Roger's last Saturday before he starts band camp. For those of you who don't know, he is a band director, and band camp starts a couple weeks before school starts. So this is his last weekend of the summer before he has to go back to work. If you watched any of our videos this summer, you know it's been a really rough summer, and I finally had a moment today where I had a break from lawnmower noise outside, and I wanted to tell you guys something, because Roger doesn't know this yet. The other day, he asked me if I wanted to try to get down to the comic book store, and here's the thing, guys. The comic book store is bright, and being out of the house in general, my anxiety and agoraphobia kicks in, so I always have my fidget cube, which you saw in yesterday's video, I had it at the doctor's office, and smells. You know, I can't handle the smell of any building, and in almost every building, it either is going to smell like an air freshener or old slash moldy building, and that's a problem as well. However, Roger had, he right now is out painting the front porch. He painted the garage door today. He has painted our awnings today. A week and a half ago, he soundproofed these bedroom windows for me because of the mowers. He has done so much work on our house. Oh, and he tore out and dug up all of the bushes and plants which have been there since before he bought the house. He bought it before we got married and then we moved in, or I moved in. But he tore up all of that stuff and had a little bit of help from a friend on some of that. So shout out to Guy, thank you. And then laid it with soil and gravel. And he and he's made things in the back to stop the water from when it starts raining, to stop the water from getting down into the basement because one of our next projects is cleaning the walls of the basement to remediate any mold issues that there still may be. I, I say all that just to tell you, even with as rough as this summer has been, he has done all of that. So today, even though I told him there's no way in the world I could get to the comic book store, because even thinking about it on camera here is overwhelming me. But I want to do it for him today, so you guys know before he knows. Of course, by the time you watch this, you'll know, because you'll have gone with me to the comic book store, um, hopefully. But I'm going to try to put on real clothes and surprise him when he's done with all this work on his last Saturday before he has to go back to start band camp, and hopefully we'll be able to go to the comic book store. By the way, our comic book store here is called The Inner Geek, so if you look up on Facebook, The Inner Geek, it's a pretty cool place. If you're ever around, you should come visit it sometime. Honestly, guys, it used to just be in our mall, and at first it was in a really small store in the mall, and then it, it got more really popular, which was super exciting, especially for comic book nerds like us, and it moved to a bigger store. Well, that's about the time that I stopped being able to go out at all, so I didn't even see it in its bigger store. And now it's actually got its own separate location, its own building, which is amazing. So I'm so excited to do this for him, and I'm just praying that we can make it work today. Tomorrow we'll be watching church and enjoying that together through the live stream, but I want to make this a good Saturday for him because he's done so much for me this summer and does so much for me every day of the year. But I really want to try to do this for him today, so... I guess we'll see on the video later, if it happens. So that was a picture that I decided to insert that I text to my mom and sister earlier to show them that even though I was born blonde, there's no way I'm ever going to be convinced I was adopted because our hair, and that's just letting it air dry it is so freaking curly and if you sleep on it and I literally had just taken my ponytail holder out and I tried to make it just like as big as I could to share with them because I knew they'd get a laugh my mom here in town and my sister out in Arizona well it's been about an hour since I actually filmed the first clip of this video and Roger is still hard at work I am still however really really praying that I'm able to do this for him today to go down there because I know it would be a great time and would even if I'm in a wheelchair with a mask and headphones and sunglasses it still is at least a taste of semi you know regular living for a couple especially a couple that loves to go to the comic book store I still have to find clothes thankfully today shouldn't be as hard as yesterday because yesterday was like the you know well, just to be real, guys, with chronic illness, especially with chronic Lyme and heat intolerance and the fatigue, I can't take a shower every day. But what I was going to say is finding clothes after a shower is a lot harder than, you know, maybe the next day or two until I have to take a shower again. You know, sometimes it's longer. 
until whenever I'm able to take a shower again. It's because, you know, my skin has just been, I guess it just feels more raw and exposed, but you know, it's a real channel, so I'm gonna share all the real details with you. I mean, no, not graphic details, but like, you know, I, yesterday it was about an hour after my shower trying to find clothes, and it was nearly impossible. Today, it's, you know, been about 24 hours almost, almost exactly 24 hours since I fi started filming yesterday's vlog. I mean, I'm still very limited, but there should be a few shirts in that drawer from yesterday's vlog that you saw that, that could work today. So we'll see you all hopefully on our way to the comic book store next. Okay, y'all. Sorry for the blank screen. Roger doesn't know I'm recording this. I'm uh, just checking in with him. He, I just heard him come inside, so hopefully he'll come back in in a second because he did go back out. But I want to see how far along he is in his process, or if, if maybe he's finished. I'm going to see if I can get him to call down to the store to see how busy they are today. He still doesn't know that I'm planning on going. I'm just, well, I'm going to secretly record. So just hang in there and we'll see what he says. How much do you yeah, have left? Just the porch and maybe like one spot on the garage. Okay, how long do you think that'll take? I'm just, I'm, just, I'm not, I'm, I don't know. I'm just it's, curious. Then I have to clean everything up. Okay. So I'll be done under an hour. Okay. Well, you heard that. Looks like I've got a little less than an hour. Okay, Roger just came back in. So hopefully he'll come into the bedroom and maybe we'll be able to get this done. I'm just going to leave this recording. He still doesn't know. That may have been a false alarm. That was the false alarm. Oh, wait. Just heard the door again. I wish it were possible to not hear it at all until I knew for sure he was coming in, but I know it's not possible, and that was a silly thing to even say, so forget I said it. And I'm playing a little bit of Pokemon Sun while I wait. Right now, using Zygarde. And he's disappointing me, which is a shame because I like Zygarde in theory. I'm running low on energy though, guys. So I'm really, really hoping and praying we can still make this happen. I think he just came in. Let's see what's going on. This is taking up all the storage on my phone. I don't even know the forecast anymore. You heard that audio, but there's a small glitch in the plan. A mower started, that was the glitch. As soon as he went back outside to finish, it started. So I right now I'm trying to lose myself and to see if I can just escape to literally another world to the Alola region in Pokemon Sun right now while he's finishing to block out this mower. If not, I'll turn on Mandisa or Nicole Nordeman or Shylin or Chris Jones or many others that I'll that, to try to block it out. But Hopefully we'll still be able to make this happen after. I did find clothes, as you can still move my hitting pad, but you can see I've got my Doctor Who shirt that I was able to wear because it's been washed so much that it's a little soft and kind of loose, so it doesn't hurt that bad. Hopefully see you all at the comic book store next. I finally cut Executor to situate through the level 65. Playing on our weight. So glad. It's the it's the new really tall executor. Oh, I thought I caught execute. I would have caught him earlier when I caught him in the wild. If I realized I hadn't already gotten him in this game yet. Dang it. Sorry for the clips with just a background and audio, but he just told me he's going to take the ladder back down to our friends who just live down the street. And he had to use it to do the painting of some, on some of our awnings today. He will be coming back in a second and it's going to go back to just audio because I am keeping it a secret from him until I ask him to call the shop. So that's, that's the explanation there. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. I know it's been a process. I think he might actually be coming now. Maybe. Okay, he did come in just now. Here we go. Wish me luck. Here's hoping it records. We're doing our best here. It is 4.29 p.m., just for the record. So 
say he finished with everything then? Yeah. Awesome. What'd you end up, uh, never mind. We already talked about the, what you were going to do about the spots on the porch and the garage and stuff. You are, we already talked about that. Did, you, did you look at the porch? Huh? Did you look at the porch from the picture? Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Let me, uh, go back and look I again. Just, I didn't, oh, I didn't I pay just, close attention. You just got another picture. I adjusted the shadows and it so everything's a little bit brighter. Ah, uh, okay, I see. Let me, let me look at that one. I just, I basically, um, I painted over those spots mm -hmm. and then I painted the whole porch again. That's good. It's, I mean, that's the best thing to do for now. Yeah, that, that awning really ties it in too now. Yeah having the repainted on the awning with the shades and everything or the uh shutters rather yep, I like it. it looks really good you did a really good job thank you are you getting ready to anything specific you were getting ready to do um i feel stank so i need to take a shower <laughs> okay i knew you're you usually wait to take a shower if you're working outside till after yeah. you've done the outside work all right um do you want to make a call down to the inner geek to see if it's a busy crowded day down there because if it's not i would like to push myself as much as i feel like i'm able on your last saturday of before band um, camp making a call probably won't matter because who knows it could be busy now we could dinner it's not or vice versa it's usually not busy when i go down there usually just a couple people there okay, trust, yeah, trust it's, it's saturday i just I didn't know if Saturdays were busier. I just wanted to get a feel for it. People are probably going out of town doing stuff on Saturdays. Yeah. It'll, it'll probably be fine. Okay. Well, then let's go. Yeah. it's. I, I need to take a I, shower. That's what I meant. After you take a shower, let's go. I'm already ready, so. You already ready? Um, yeah. Clothes-wise. Well, here's the deal. I'm considerably more fatigued and in more pain than I was two and a half to three hours ago when I decided that I was going to do this, but I'm determined to push through even if we're just there for a couple minutes to enjoy this with my husband today. You just heard that audio. He now knows and I'm dressed and I'm going to go ahead and start getting my paraphernalia together everything i have to take to leave the house and we'll have better lighting once we're there in the car and at the store we're on our way to the comic shop we're on our way to the inner geek random notes which i do a lot now uh yeah so did you have any idea that i was going to ask you to go to the inner geek today raj no Okay, I won't make the camera go to you anymore since you're driving. We are at a red light, FYI, y'all. But mm. they can still hear your voice, so how did you feel when I asked you to if we could go? Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. thought it was pretty cool, because guess what? It is, because we're going to go to the comic shop and just general geek store in town. We are here. Look. So excited, guys. I haven't been able to go. I'm so excited. It's a full building now and not just a small little spot in the mall. And here we go. Inner geeking out. Roger's getting the wheelchair. And we going in. Guys, I almost ran over C3PO. But I just wanted to show you some cool stuff. Um, that's actually their, their own personal branding there. It's pretty neat. And we're just going to go around because this is amazing. This is what we have wanted for years in town. All kinds of collectibles here. And I'll show you. Let's just let's grab a circle here. Show you on the back there. It has, you know, what it is and that information. It's pretty cool. Some stuff over there if you're into that kind of collectible rock stuff. Not my thing, but you do you. More here. Oh, look. We got Cap America. You know the nation could use him right now. Or not, depending on what comic arc you're reading. Older or current. And then X-Men, Spider-Man. All, all the goodies over here. Goodies, goodies, goodies. Collectibles over here. 
Oh, and we have a Mortal Kombat 2 arcade game, which I cannot look at right now because it is shiny. So we're gonna focus on the Olive Oil and Popeye dolls down on the floor. It's literally the first time I've been here, so I'm showing you guys everything as I see it. We've got, ooh, it's nice Star Trek stuff. And let's go back to up there. We've got some G.I. Joe collectibles and stuff like that over here. I am kind of anxious right now, guys. The open space is, is bothering me, so I'm going to look through some of these boxes and see if it'll calm me down, and I'll take you somewhere else in the store next. All right, y'all. So I have not been able, like I said, to visit our comic shop since uh, 2014 I remember very vividly at the time it was very small and when I say small it was like I mean a very narrow little spot that you were able to rent out in the mall I am in absolute comic geek heaven right now and just I don't know if you often see but we've got the shop times about 20 of what it used to be the last time I was in the shop because it's got its own building now <laughs> just wanted to share this victory with you guys it was really awesome so i'll show you just a glimpse like here's just the current comic wall like here's the wall of just a single issue comic store i'm purposely not lingering too much on any one just because of time and then you've got a lot of graphic novels and collectibles over here guys come to ashland kentucky no matter what articles tell you about us being the unhealthiest city in the country or area in the country because we have a really awesome comic shop and collectible shop isn't that right raj should they come to ashland yes, yes. thumbs up from raj who's slipping through some graphic novels should we ask him what he's slipping through guys yeah we should okay let's see what do you flip into raj okay we shouldn't he says no all right, I think he's embarrassed that I'm vlogging in public. But I'm not, because I'm just glad to be in public with my husband. And he's a cutie. Mm -mm. Although that WB needs to be a UK. Uh, I'm back by the tangent. Uh, all right, bye guys for now. Now, I don't have the brain to sort through all this right now, but normally, if I did, I'd spend a lot of time deciding what I needed for my collection and going through all of these boxes. Look at all that, guys. And it goes all the way down. Dollar Comics. That's where it's at. I know I said that in correct grammar, and it was perfect. Um, I mean, it was on purpose. So, I can't sort through it now, but I just wanted to share with you guys. And that whole other side is uh, priced as marked. has some pretty good stuff in there. And we're on our way out. We got our weekly comic pool. Thank you. See you later. See you after day. And we also got a birthday present for someone special. And that's all I'm going to say, detail wise. So we're going to get back to the car. I'm just praising the Lord that I was able to get out and do this today and enjoy this with my husband today. Who, again, like I said, is the best wheelchair driver. Even when my wheelchair is jank and has started like losing parts that we have to attach you know god is good guys even even when life doesn't seem great god is good <laughs> okay guys that was a very successful outing as you could see and then we came home and now there's a lawnmower going a block and a half away so I'm just showing you the extremes it went from. It was a very rough morning, and then I had a really great outing there, which was a, a huge blessing. And now I'm, now I'm back to trying to block the mower out so I can't film long. But I'm still want to praise God for today because I was able to go out with my husband, and that's always worth praising. Thank you, Jesus, and thank you all. They're my love. Oh God. Oh, I did a grand off and it hurt. Oh my God, I get my headphones on, but I'll um, catch you guys in the next vlog. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.